dice, slice, shred, grate, julienne, preparing food in a safe way. It's compact storage as well. It's easy cleanup and you can control the thickness. This is the perfect time of year because we're starting to make those fruits, those potato salads, those barbecues are happening. It slices it right into the bowl. That's the first thing you're going to be noticing as you look at your screen. Slices it right into the bowl. This cooks better, it cooks faster, and it's easy to make other foods taste better because you don't have to take up a lot of time to add those fresh, fast, uh, fabulous onions, to add um, those, those t uh, you know, all the things that we love to add, the mushrooms to the burgers, all the things that we love to add to foods to make them taste tastier. It's easy to do, it's easy to prepare. This mm -hmm. actually retails for almost $100, $99.99. Today, right here on QVC, we're talking about four payments of $17.50. You want me to do the math for you? It's $69.98, so that's a far cry from $100. Uh, Don Magic, really good to have Hi, you here. it's great to be here. It Thank smells you. so good right here. I am smelling the fresh peppers, the mushrooms, even the onions smell beautiful. They're like sweet onions. But you are doing such quick work of this. I love this because, you know what, every Sunday I used to dice up vegetables for my husband to put in his egg substitute. He gets up super early in the morning. I don't want to do that, Antonella. So what I do as a good wife is I prepare this for him so his egg substitute tastes better. Mm. So what I do is I chop up all the vegetables, saute them off, and then he can add them. But do you know how long this used to take me to do? Uh. Literally, it would take me an hour or more. Mm. Now it takes me minutes. Literally, I love doing this. I still look like a rock star and a loving wife. <laughs> I mean, come on. How yeah. hard is it? Uh, but look at the perfect dice on this. My, my, it never looked like this before. It never, ever looked like this. Black & Decker has been around for over 100 years. They have taken the food processor and ramped it up a notch. I have had many of food processors. They've been heavy. They've had multiple discs that, you know, I had to change for slicing and different things. This dice is like nothing I've ever seen. I've never had one that diced before. But if you can just see, look, let's put some onions in here. Everything is really uniform, too. So if I want to use that to saute, um, everything is going to cook up exactly the same. Isn't that and really at, nice? Yeah, finish at all the right, uh, at all the same time. It's going to taste better because you have that wonderful balance. But you're doing hard things with the onions. You're doing mm -hmm. somewhat delicate and hard things like the pepper. The outside is is hard. The inside is softer. You There's know how hard that mushrooms. is? It's exactly. Hard. Um, and sometimes it's not very safe either. You know, there's so many kitchen accidents in doing the chopping, the dicing, everything by hand. I'm noticing though, Don, that your hand didn't go anywhere near those blades. No, and you know what? It's all about the knife skills. And I love to cook, I love to entertain, but my knife skills are not that of a professional. Are, I am no either. Meredith Lawrence. Yeah, Let's just me put neither, it that way. No. She told me how to how to clean the peppers and get them into the food processor, but after that I'm done. So I need the help of these great tools when we get them. But I want to make some broccoli slaw for you because it's that time of year when we're making these kinds of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to julienne some broccoli. And this is just an incredible thing. Now you notice it's feeding itself. Oh my goodness. Look at how it feeds it into this machine. Wow. I used to peel the broccoli and then because it, the machine wouldn't take it. I don't You're have to just prep it out. I'm just stuffing it. You're just Look at this. it in there. Look at that. I know. And then we can add some cabbage to that. But look at how beautiful this shreds and right how into fast. the bowl. Right I mean, into the honestly, bowl. Honestly, you can buy all the foods prepared nowadays. We all know that. But they're so expensive they're if you do so that. They're so expensive. We don't know what chemicals are in there so that they're preserved. Yeah, yeah. But I love the fact that I can push all this down and get really, really nice results. My goodness. Isn't that nice? I love that it goes right into the bowl, too. Yes, so, it does. Um, you know what? Four easy payments of $17.50. Let me show you the colors. Can we do that real quick, John? Sure, because, let's go down. Um, let's take a look at all the colors. Mm -hmm. And we have, are they, is this the, oh, we're well, down we there. Right we're down there. All right, mm -hmm. let me come up front and Please. share it with everyone. So this is going to be everything that you get, but let's start with the colors. Here's the black. There's the blue, that's the red. Right. Now, it gets even better, and Dawn's going to walk you through it because it all, all the blades compact down into that, right? Right, and I love this because this means that when I'm going to cook, everything's right where I need it. That's, I think, the biggest part of cooking is your prep work and your time. So now I know 
this doesn't weigh a whole lot. It's easy to get to. Look at this. It doesn't take up a big footprint. It has the suction feet, which is so great, but every single part of this goes into the dishwasher. Now, I don't think you get that on a traditional, but see no. this? Yeah. This goes into the dishwasher. Wow. This goes into the dishwasher. Everything goes into the dishwasher after I'm done using it. So I think that is absolutely vital. The only thing that doesn't is the base or the motor. Okay. Here I have a blade adjuster, so I only have one slicing blade, which I love, which right here, but then I can adjust the size of the slice easily. And I want to just show you here since we just have done. This is the thin cucumber. This is a medium cucumber wow. and then the thick cucumber. Wow. And you know when you're making your cucumber salad, it's going to taste better like this. Yeah. But then if you're going to make other kinds of salads, you're going to want it like this. Love the fact that I can just simply make that adjustment right from the so top. So you don't have to change out the Not blade. Not changing like you out the blade. You usually have to change out the blade when you want to change out thickness. Exactly. Will you show me all the blades I get too? Okay, so now we have julienne. We have two different sizes on that julienne, which I really, really like. All on the same blade. All on the same blade. Mm -hmm. Two different sizes on the same blade and these are for your fingers so you don't have to worry about cutting yourself okay. all ready to go into the dishwasher but this is my favorite part this is for the chopping and you'll see here the orange all the pieces that go with the chopping are in orange. Now, I'll just show you by doing this. I'll put this one together for okay. you. Uh, so you get the storage case as you well. You get the storage case as I well. I like that. So everything's but neatly compact Here we place. have the orange line here on the top. So now we just put the orange piece in, and we put the orange attachment in, and then we put the blade in. But I love the fact that everything's color-coded for mm -hmm. me. So now I just put on the lid. Now I'm ready to go. Okay. That's how simple it is. Now, when you're using these two pieces, you put this disc in. But it's really very simple everything works together nicely and it just comes together and everything goes in the case so I'm sure that I have all the pieces I need so next time yeah it's ready to go it's all in one place yeah. you know how it is you're ready to make a meal and you have to get the bowls you have to get your you know you have to get everything together here you don't have to worry about it I can go right into my frying pan right into my soup pot it's great I like that now it shoots right out like that I don't have to keep emptying it opening it filling it exactly. popping it uh, over and over again. It'll a lot shoot of flexibility. Right into the bowl. It yeah. really is so nice. So let's come back down here. You have potatoes, really? Right. And this is what you know. It's it's a workhorse, and I think that's really nice. I'm going to dice up some potatoes first. Okay. Because I love these diced potatoes. Oh, Look these at are how great at breakfast they are. time when Aren't you want to make. Oh yeah, like uh, potatoes and eggs and, and bacon all together. Without a doubt. Do you know what I do with my bacon? I slice it down this way yeah. in the long direction, put it in the pan so it's already diced okay, for so me. Okay, stop. Turn off the machine a minute. Sure. I want to do something. Um, take a look at this right now. I think all of 15 seconds happened. Uh, that's about, I don't know, two cups of diced potatoes. How long would it take you to do this with a knife? Uh, How long? <laughs> Tony upstairs, my line producer, said 20 minutes it would take him to do it. Do you see that? Oh, and he'd need Band-Aids, he said. <laughs> I'd need a trip to the ER. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but no, honestly, but you're right. you did that in 15 seconds, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm thinking, now, how long would that take me to do with a knife? Do you know how much time this is going to save you in it's the It's going to save you a ton of time. Okay. It really is, and I'm going to... I'm going to take this out and I'm going to start shredding it. But here you can see it's just the flexibility. So I can take shred, I can do cube potatoes, but then I can also shred the potatoes. But here you can see you can do just about everything you need in the machine. I love the, I think the thing that I go to most often is the dicing, you know, yeah, and I, yeah. I don't know whether it's the novelty of it, but I'm able to make simple chilies now so much more flavorful with really fresh ingredients. Did you ever try to cut a sweet potato? Oh, it's, the, it's, I, it's a nightmare. It is the it's absolute worst. I mean, yeah. I have oh, no upper body strength. Oh, or salami or satsitsa, that's um, hard thank from you. a, ooh, it's boy. It's really, really hard. And you saw in my husband's vegetable medley, we added yeah. some ham. When he's in good behavior, we add some meat to it, you know? Ah. So it's so nice and easy, and look at the fact that it all goes into the dishwasher. Nice. Let's face it, that top rack on your dishwasher usually isn't full anyhow, and I love the ease of that. <laughs> I just true. love being able to work so hard and get such great results. It's easier, and I like what you told me earlier. By the way, the red is super, super popular. Um, I, Dawn, I like what you told me earlier when we met, when you said, you know what, I make things more delicious now because I it's do. so easy. I'm not held back with the thought in my mind of, oh, I have to chop up those onions. Or, geez, I have to shred up those potatoes. Without you a doubt. It kind of frees you up in the kitchen to really make things more flavorful and more it tasteful. Does. It really does. And I like the fact that we were talking about, you know, like the fact that you want to do all this for your family, but you still want to sit with your family yeah. and enjoy your yeah. family. Usually so, you have to pick between one or the other. Make a fabulous meal, and A, you don't sit with them or do you eat it, because by the time exactly. you're done, you don't want to look at it anymore. 
or you make a quick meal that is doesn't taste that good and you get to sit with your family look at so this. it's that's amazing look at, look at this look at this whole Ooh. big bowl that we just did in a matter of seconds but I love this machine it works so so well and you know what we do we want it we want it all I mean yeah. don't we yeah. so we want to make like I love to cook but I don't want the tedious part of cooking yeah. if that yeah. makes sense to you yeah I want the fun part I want my, the fun yeah, part. my husband calls me a chef because he says I'll go into the kitchen and just blow through it and then he's got to come and clean up exactly. because I do the fun part I don't want to do the prepping that takes most of the time it does um, for me the joy is putting the things together and testing it and adding you know adding ingredients and adding spices that's the fun that's the joy that's the love but the cleanup and the preparation that's the most time consuming I gotta tell you the fresh fresh smell of wafting cucumbers over here there is nothing like this and I think you're going to go to the farmer's market more often, buy fresh vegetables, buy fresh fruits, do lots of different things. It's going to be tasty. It's going to be healthy. This is a big, big helping hand. And I love that. But I like the fact, too, um, hold on, we've got stuff up here. Okay. Um, that's because I was just doing so many of them. But did you notice that I put the whole cucumber up there? I was watching that. Isn't like, that fun? <laughs> I love the fact that I can put the whole cucumber, but I went to the bottom of the bowl and I did the thick slice and then I decided to thin it up and look at how beautifully thin. Wow. This is cucumber and onion salad that I could never do by hand because no. I could never get my cucumbers that thin. Look at that. And that's the results you're going to get. Yeah. But you know what? So many times when we have these machines that are helping us out in the kitchen, you have to prep the work in order to prep the work. Right. I I don't want the prep time. I want it so that it's simple and easy. I can put a full carrot in there and shove it down. Yeah. I can do full cucumbers. Yeah. You don't have to worry about getting everything into the right size before you can work the machine. The old days of food processors, before you could even do it, it had to be this low because then it wouldn't operate unless it hit a certain point. Here, I don't even have to worry about wow. that. Wow. Let me show right you the colors the again. Yeah, please. Um, here's the red. Then we also have the blue and we have the black and don't forget you're going to get all the blades you're going to get the the actual storage container mm -hmm. with that as well um, but this is k45164 already 600 of these are gone today uh, you know we were talking about the summer and the family coming over and the prepping but think about this john was telling me that she's known as the soup queen in her house let's make some soup so, fall winter don't just think summer and vegetables and things and nope. salsas no soup right into the pot let's and, do that and here's the thing nana taught me to peel my celery first so i could chop it better i am no longer doing that watch Woo. this oh wow i mean come on people oh look at this you guys oh my gosh that's going to be some fantastic soup isn't that going to be nice okay so now the carrots and you know how difficult the carrots are so i put wide side thin side now you see the carrots are well above the you know the yeah. blade where i can put the top yeah. on but now i can put the tamper on and i can push it down wow. how great is that oh but my goodness can't have soup without onions right i put onions in everything so do they i absolutely my that favorite oregano thing. and basil go uh, in everything oh, i don't feel my big thing me oh, too i love the basil the best mm -hmm. um, but my gosh this smells amazing just as it is put in some hot water boil up some salt and pepper and you've got a fabulous stew I'm on your hands i'm serious like wow I made, uh, so i made chili this week because i'm going to send some home with my boys on father's day so i made it and froze it yeah but i was able to put onions and peppers, shredded carrots, and diced mushrooms in there. It's sweeter. It tastes, don't just add canned tomatoes and beans. Now that I have this, I can do so much more. But with this, we're going to make some tortellini soup. So ah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to dice up my summer squash and my zucchini. So I'm okay. just going to pull this apart. And you can see how easy it is to get everything out of here. And now I'm going to put on my slicing mechanism and put this lid back easy, on. It's sure is easy to change out those blades, too. Isn't it? I mean, mm. I love that. So. And Black & Decker, my gosh, yeah. Over 100 years. Wow. I mean, they know what they're doing. But look at the speed. Like, this Ooh. is what's so nuts about this. Look at that this. zucchini going. Uh-huh. Are you kidding? Now you're making me hungry for soup. <laughs> you know look what? at how easy Soup's you're doing anytime. this. I love this. It's the speed almost is like, it, it'll take your breath away when you first use this because you think, that's not possible. No. But it really is. It works so, so well. in a blink well. of an eye. It is in the blink of the so eye. you know and like how I quickly said, and easily you're going to make better, healthier foods if you're doing it like this? I mean, soup all alone is going to be perfect. For, so I think soup this. is some of the most perfect food. 
it is the most perfect food, and now it's the freshest. You know, people oh, are wow. now buying their vegetables already diced, already prepared. I know. Don't do that. This will pay for itself in no time, and you yeah. will make the most delicious, easy food. And you're going to come out looking like a rock star. Now, show me, show me again, though. So show hard. me again. What goes in the in the? Because now I'm thinking. The other thing is the cleanup. Like I hate the cleanup. Oh, you know what all happens here? All right. Can so you now open I've that got, up I need again? to. Yeah, we need to put this in the dishwasher. So this is going. That'll in the go 